In the previous lesson, we looked at calibrating our monitor. And we looked at the, well, it ain't broke, don't fix it. Do it manually using something like this device, a spider. Whichever way you choose, we have to let Photoshop in on the secret. We have to let it know we have a calibration profile to use. So how do we do that? Well, there's two ways we can do this. If you have Photoshop, you more than likely have Bridge. So you might be taking images from your camera, massaging them in Photoshop, moving them into one of my other favorite programs, InDesign or Adobe Acrobat or even Adobe Illustrator. And we need a common ground, if you will, for all of these programs to know what we're using for color calibration, but not the monitor. See, the monitor is already there. Where we're going with it, it's important to use the same calibration. So if you've got Photoshop open, go up to the word edit on the pull down menu and go all the way down, way, way, way down to color settings. In color settings, you've got setting options right here. You also have a load button right here. You say, what's that for? Well, let's say you work with a very specific four color press and they have a specific way that they mix their colors and work with their colors and they have a profile for you to use. Now, it's not the ICC that we made with the spider. It's how the spider interprets the color to the device. That's what we're doing now. And you could actually get that from them. You could then load it. Or, and we're not going to get into this, but you could make all these changes right here and then save your own. What we're going to talk about is right up here. Now, you've got North American General Purpose 2, newspaper, pre-press. If we come in here for more options, let me go ahead and do this. Because you will see things like Europe and Japan also. This is not just about North America, obviously. Which one do I use, Andy? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. What's my goal? My goal is to tell the computer that the profile I made with the spider and then set, that's already there, it's set, it's ready to go, is going to be used when I use this particular output device. As you can see, I've got one just for my particular output printer, my HP. If I'm going out to that device before I begin working, I change it here. You say, well, okay, number one, I don't know if I really want to do that every five minutes. Number two, I'm not sure which one to select anyway. If you're not sure what to use here, well, you say, well, can I choose something that, I don't know, nine times out of ten is probably going to work pretty good for me? That would be North America or Europe or Japan general purpose two. You can set it and in most cases, forget it. Unless you get real retentive about it and you're going out to the web or you're going out to newspaper. You've got different settings for each one. These settings do not change when we make the spider profile. It's just saying now this is where I'm going. Use this color and tell that particular device how to interpret the color. It's not perfect. There are other devices out there that you can throw money at that help calibrate printers. But if you don't have that kind of time or money, this will work, but you got to set it up. If you're using earlier versions of say the Creative Suite. Just because you did it here doesn't mean it's going to do it everywhere. Let me go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to go into Bridge. In Bridge, because we're talking about a Creative Suite, not just Photoshop, you can perform the same thing by going up to the word Edit and going down to Color Settings. Now here's North American General Purpose 2 or whichever one you're using. But if you set it from Bridge here, it will sync all your programs at the same time. And in earlier versions of the Creative Suite, you would either have to do them one at a time or you would have to sync them here through Bridge. Either way, if you apply it, I don't have to, it's already been applied. Basically, you are now syncing all of your color systems to this particular output based on the spider calibration or the manual calibration, whichever one you used. And this is where I'm going out to. The process does what? It gives us consistent color like we've never really had before. And it really does work good. So once you've got your profile set up, you come here or you go to Photoshop and you apply it to the output that you're going to and begin working. Now, like anything else, you need to test it. You need to try it. You need to print some things. Check out to see if it's going to work. But if it works on a test, it'll work on everything else. It's going to save you a lot of time and give you good color consistency.